Hey, West Coast Johnny, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. So I'm taking my trailer to Quartzsite, Arizona for the day and the night. Um, it's coming up in about a week or so. It, to a, it's a, it's a week-long event, and it's, it's every February, I think from the 7th through the 13th. I'll put a link in my description, but it's in uh, Dome Rock, uh, the Dome Rock area of the camping area. They call it Dome Rock. And it's in Quartzsite, Arizona. I'd never been there. I'm really excited to check it out. But i got to do some final stuff. So I'm rolling and tipping the repair for the door. Then i got to roll and tip my whole gravel guard. So first got to sand it because I primed it. But that was like six months ago. And if you know how paint is, you can't just like prime something and then set it down for many, many months. And then just pick it up and, you know, maybe think you blow some dirt off it and paint it, what happens is it, it almost like there's a layer of something on the primer. It just kind of changes after many months. So um, we're just gonna scuff it up with the pneumatic air sander with some 180 grit sandpaper. So uh, let's go, follow me. All right, I wanna show you my, uh, oh, here's my old Sears camping stove. And um, I'm going to take that on my trip. Uh, I'm going to actually make a whole video about some of this stuff uh, in the next few days. So right here, this is the guard. And it just needs to, uh, you know, scuffing. Because the, the, the primer develops like a, a, almost like a micro layer of dirt. You can't... Okay, let me show you quickly what I'm using. And then I'm going to mix things up. So we have our top coat, which is our actual color. And I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of like a... It's called oyster white. It's beautiful. It's like a creamy white. It's soft. It's, it's, it's really nice. And then we have the converter brush. Okay, so for top coat. So because we're brushing or rolling and tipping, we need to use this particular um, converter. If we were spraying it out of like a big sprayer, we'd have to get the converter for, for spraying. But we're not. So here's our reducer. And this is really cool. This just came out. Uh, almost a year ago, spring of 21, I believe. And it's called the 5018, A5018. And it's a roll additive. So when you mix some of that in with all this, it really helps with any kind of micro bubbling or uh, the other thing it does, um, it makes everything really smooth and fluid. So like the this paint is supposed to kind of self level well this takes it like really really to the next step it like really helps it self level so well that you don't even really need to brush little bubbles out or anything because there, there won't be any so uh i heard someone call this a game changer and i think it is so i'm going to go ahead and start So I bought a, a really nice um, little brush here, little roller. I think it was made by Purdy. And uh, but what I'm doing, I'm just wrapping it in tape. So when we unwind it, it's going to be kind of like a lint roller. It's going to take any loose fibers that may be on here and should pull them off. And I'm going to do this probably about three or four times. Okay. Now let's take a look. Wow, there's like nothing on it. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's try it again. Okay, now we're going to take it off again. That is really, really nice. Okay, so this is ready.
So this is really, uh, it's flowing really nice. Looks like I got a little something in it. Right there. Okay. I just want to get some coverage and I'm just slowly rolling and I and I don't see any bubbles it's nice I'm only letting like the weight of the brush kind of pull I'm not pushing down whatsoever Okay, we're just going to let that set just like that. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put some on. It runs pretty easily, but that's okay. Just kind of stay on top of it, but you don't want to play with it forever. The self-leveling, it's going to try to level itself. I'm just making sure there's no sags. I don't want any sags or curtains or runs. I don't want anything like that. Here. All right, so I got a few coats on. It's flowing really nice. And I'm just going to run my roller over it one last time with just the weight of the roller holding it down, barely doing anything. And then we're, we're going to go set this in the sun so it can kick off and do all it needs to do and be nice and warm. That's what we want. So, all right. Okay, we're out here and it's dark outside and I just wanted to kind of come out and take a look and turn adjust my light here. So it looks really nice and uh, so that is that, okay? And uh, let me show you what's going on with the gravel guard. I brought it in my house since I was able to. So I brought the gravel guard into my house so that uh, it would dry better because it's warmer in the house. It's still getting chilly here at night out in the East County San Diego desert. So there it is. I'm going to let it sit in here. It's, it's about 70 degrees, so this should be just right. So uh, tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and when it's all dry, I'm going to mark it. Put the hardware on it and mount it. I'll take you guys along with me. So there that is. And uh, I'm going to call this a wrap. And thanks for all my new subscribers and everybody who's been watching. And please leave a message. And if I don't get back to you, leave leave another message. I Sometimes I don't get them. So, uh, all right, everybody. Yeah.